Hello YouTube, it is Chris here, and in today's episode, we are going to discuss the best fire starters. So stick with me. Welcome back, everybody, and thank you for sticking with me. Now, I've had a lot of requests for this video, basically asking, Chris, hey, man, uh, what's the best fire starter? Well, truthfully, I have my own opinions, but I actually was curious myself. So I decided to take some of the arguably the best and longest lasting and some also the cheapest fire starters that I have ever seen tested or used. This won't be a long video. I will literally just be taking my torch due to the fact that I need to be able to light all of the fire starters in a negligible amount of time. And I'm gonna be testing some fire squares, my DIY cotton rounds, this new contender, which is the Extreme Start Fire Starter, some dryer linen wax, then we have some wood shavings in wax, like sawdust, and we have these fire sticks. Now, these two are definitely pre-made. This is probably the fire square is gonna be the most premium. And these are probably the cheapest. So I guess what I'm curious about is, let's see which one lasts the longest. And I want you guys to drop down in the comments below and tell me which one is your absolute favorite. But without wasting any more time, let's go ahead and get to testing. Now for space, safety, and time, we are gonna do these three fire starters first. That's the dryer lint over there. We have the uh, wood shavings and wax, and we also have that new extreme emergency fire starter. So we're gonna have at all timed and see which ones last the longest, and then we'll jump to the next three. So for this first round, all three fire starters lasted between 9 and so far over 18 minutes. I don't think anyone can argue the merits of either any of these fire starters. At almost 23 minutes, you can't even call that a fire starter. That's freaking fuel cubes right there. And for the final round, we have my DIY cotton rounds with wax, the fire stick, and fire squares. So it looks like the winner of this round is the fire square. It uh, beat out my cotton rounds and the fire stick, the Walmart fire stick. So uh, I guess it all gonna boil down to what is your favorite fire steel for the ease of lighting, the price and how long they last, and portability. How many can you take with you in a, in a trip?
So, for over 14 minutes, the Fire Square has endured and hung in there really well, which is right on par with a whole lot of really awesome Fire Starters. And if you're wondering what I've been doing in the video, is there are dozens upon dozens upon dozens of layers within this um, Fire Square, so I'm kind of peeling it back like an onion to keep the fire going, and in a camping or outdoor or even a survival situation, that is something I would be doing if I needed to, to keep that uh, fire raging as long as I could. So, just a little bit over 16 minutes and 30 seconds for the fire square, which is absolutely freaking legit. So, uh, let's go ahead back to the tabletop for my final thoughts. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that test footage as much as I had fun testing it for you guys. I ended up learning a lot about all these different fire starters and how well they performed in an outdoor situation with wind blowing and everything. So my question is to you and drop down in the comments. I actually really truly want to know your thoughts is which one did you like the best? And uh, I can go ahead and give you kind of a price breakdown of how much they cost per fire starter if that might help you make a decision. Now the dryer lint and wax, the wax I have to buy but it's like two dollars worth of wax and I can get a whole 18 pack. And that's pretty cool and it seems like it's a good deal and it ends up being roughly like eight cents per fire starter which isn't too bad considering the egg cartons are from my grocery shopping naturally and this is stuff that I get naturally from my dryer or when I'm doing any type of woodworking um, at the shop secondly uh, these cosmetic rounds you have to buy but you can get for three bucks you can get a hundred of them so it ends up being three cents a piece and they did last a pretty long time. Also, to kind of round this out, these are $3. So they end up being about $0.20 cents for fire, per fire stick. And these two end up being some of the better performers that I saw today. They were, I think they lasted the two longest out of everyone. But they were the most expensive. They round out to about $0.50 to $0.60 cents per fire starter. And that I, I would expect those two to last longer if they do cost the most per use. So um, it all depends on really what your budget is, I guess. I mean, that's kind of how it breaks down. But I don't want to make this video take too long. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, give it a big thumbs up for me. And for anybody who wants to try and buy any of this stuff that I tested out, I'll drop some Amazon links down in the description box below. But as always, I hope you guys have an absolute wonderful day. I thank you guys so much for the support you guys are showing my channel. It just means a whole heck of a lot to me. But um, that's about it. I'm out.